everyone. This time I will share some example of the nine steps in hypothesis testing. Please subscribe on my channel. The implications. So we have here sample situation. So for example, we have here a researcher wants to examine if work environment is related to work efficiency among HE new clerical employees. So this is just an example. 20 clerks here is not a standard for a sample. The standard here for sample for quantitative research it can be more than 30. But this is only for our example. So 20 clerks were chosen at random to become the respondents of the study. Their assessment of the work environment and efficiency ratings were obtained as indicated. So we have here the data. There are 20, so clerks 1 to 20. Then the work, the ratings in the work environment from 1 to, we have here the continuation, 20. Work environment 74, 75, 85, 79, 93, and 90. And then we are going to now uh, follow the nine steps in hypothesis testing. First, problem statement. So what is the problem statement in the given situation? Does relationship exist between the work environment and efficiency ratings of the clerks in HNU? Or is there a significant relationship between the work environment and efficiency ratings of the clerks in HNU? And then second hypothesis. So we have here the null. There is no significant relationship between the work environment and efficiency ratings of the clerks in each of you. And then your alternative, you just delete the no. So there is, this is the opposite of the null. There is a significant relationship between the work environment and efficiency ratings of the clerks in each of you. Note again that this is situations given only for the sake of illustration, how to compute and analyze a statistical problem. The 20 sample observations are small that is in actual research. It should be in more than at least 30 observations. So the next step we have fourth is the choice of test statistics. So we are using now Pearson product moment correlation R and then this is the standard level of significance we are using the alpha 0 0.05 then here is the formula of the correlation R and then computation no need to compute you may use the, the excel or spaces or mini tab so we have here uh, the R value is negative 0 0.007 very small or weak relationship the p-value is given here 0 0.976 later i will show to you how you are going to solve the p-value and the r value using the microsoft excel so what is the decision rule and findings reject this is the rule. So reject null if your p-value is less than the level of significance. Your p-value must be again less than your alpha which is 0 0.05. So we have here findings. Your p-value is 0 0.976 greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, in number 6, your decision you are going to accept the null hypothesis. Again, you're going to accept since 0 0.976 is greater than the 0 0.05. So your interpretation, again, restatement of either null or al alternative. Since you accept the null, in step 7, you are going to restate the null. So, interpretation, there is no significant relationship between the work environment and the efficiency ratings of the clerks in HNU. So, clerks with better work environment may or may not be efficient workers. And then, 
Number eight, your conclusion. The conclusion here, a good working environment could not a guarantee of efficiency of work. And then your implication, efficiency of work is a result of one's capability and commitment to job. So even with a marginalized work environment, still a person can work efficiently if he or she has the capabilities and desire to work better. So these are the, this is the example of the nine steps in hypothesis testing. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave that in the comments below. You can recommend a topic to discuss in the future. Please watch my other math tutorial and don't forget to subscribe on my channel.